So I've never received more hate mail from PsyQ fans than that one time I talked about Bernie Sanders and GMO labeling. So before I start this video, please try not to hate me and please don't throw any rotting food at the screen. <laughs> okay, so Bernie Sanders' home state of Vermont passed a law in 2014 mandating that any food containing genetically engineered ingredients has to have a label. Now, that law comes into effect pretty soon on July 1st, 2016, so it's coming up. Now, Bernie's argument for this law is that consumers have a right to know what's in their food, and that's totally true. We totally have a right to know, like, what ingredients are in our food, and how many calories are in there, and how many vitamins are in there, and how much sodium is in there. That's why we have food labeling. There's also other questions that smart consumers might have about their food. Are the cows who make this product being treated fairly? What actually is mechanically separated chicken? What pesticides were used on this apple? Is this banana contributing to civil unrest in Latin America? I think whether or not our food contains genetically engineered ingredients falls on the same list of concerns as whether our food comes from ethical sources. It's really good and interesting to know but we don't have a label for ethically sourced food yet. So why do we get so upset about GMOs? Why do we pass a law mandating that GMOs must be labeled, but not food that comes from sources that cause deforestation or from places that have unethical animal handling practices? Why is GMOs that much more important than those things? I think the reason that people are so angry about GMOs is because the science is confusing and we're generally skeptical of stuff we don't quite understand. Modifying a plant's genetics can lead to huge social good. For example, plants that have higher yields so we can feed more people in impoverished areas for cheaper, or that have higher yields so we don't have to cut down as much of the world's rainforests just so we can grow corn. Putting a label on something suggests that it's not as good as other alternatives, that it's somehow inferior. But that's not true either. GMO food is nutritionally identical to non-GMO food. Otherwise, it would never have been passed by the FDA. And GMO technology does have some risks, but it's far safer than a lot of the other stuff that we do in agriculture. Testing a new GM crop takes over 10 years and is by far the most rigorous testing that we do of anything in the food market. There's absolutely no research to suggest that food has less vitamins or is more toxic or is more likely to cause an allergy just because it's genetics have been modified. I can't stress enough how much research and how strong the scientific consensus is that GMOs are one of the safest technologies we have. Even Bernie Sanders agrees with me. He says on feeltheburn.com, Bernie supports allowing states to require labels on food containing genetically modified organisms based on the consumer's right to know, but does not believe that GMOs are necessarily bad. As good scientists, we need to be able to follow the facts wherever they lead, even if we don't like the conclusions and even if they conflict with our ideology. I get really distressed when I hear otherwise intelligent scientific people come out swinging when it comes to GMOs. So I hope that you'll keep an open mind. So yes, we do have a right to be informed and we are being informed and there's nothing stopping us from requiring companies to put information about the sources of their food on a website. But by ignoring all the other issues in agriculture and just demonizing GMOs, we're not educating the public, we're misinforming them. Now, normally this is the part where I encourage you to let me know what you think and leave your comments in the comments section below. But before you do, just remember to ask yourself, did it come from a reputable, peer-reviewed academic journal? Having said all that, let us know your thoughts and GMO labeling in the comments section below. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching SciQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.